Hi, I'm Brad Uhlberg, owner of Robert Hack Diamonds. Today I brought in his reel from around the world. He is the creator of the Princess Cut Diamond and he has six patents on a new diamond cut called the Asher Cut Princess. And welcome to Robert Hack. Thank you. And uh, we definitely want to show our customers this wonderful uh, diamond necklace. Why and not? you need to explain this because I can't. Well, as Brett mentioned, I invented the Princess Cut Diamond back in 1980. Maybe the brand quadrillion ring a bell. And I got your cat. This necklace, one of a kind almost, I only sell like one a year, made with 1,000 diamonds, F flawless, top quality. Takes me three months from start to finish as I need to start with 1,200 diamonds. And as you can see, it will not lay flat one reason only is I designed it I maximize on the brilliancy as when the lady wears it I would like to see more and more flash and more and more diamonds so with 1,000 diamonds we have 49,000 facets that are reflecting to the light they set invisible in other words when you put your finger on top it's all smooth no gaps no prongs in between they look squares they are squares but you cannot complete a circle with squares so they have to be trapezoid 200 diamonds on the inside row, 200 diamonds on the outside row. So with so many different measurements, we're looking at 1,000 diamonds trapezoids with different measurements. Takes three months, start to finish, and you really do not want to see the other 200 diamonds which cannot be used. And there's one way to wear it. Kind of three o'clock and nine o'clock, you put your thumbs, and then you dress the lady as it goes up, and you lock it behind. I sell usually once a year, a necklace of such magnitude. Uh, Terry Hatcher was wearing it for one of her Hollywood shoots. And it's right here. Very nice lady, and obviously look nicer with the necklace. She had major separation attack almost when we had to take it off. That is a very impressive necklace. Thank you. 73 carat, 34 points, 1,000 diamond F color, and flawless. In diamonds, you have 22 different grades of color. This one is the third one from the top. Flawless is the ultimate uh, clarity you want to have. And therefore, this is why it is so, so, so shiny. And my question for you is, how in the world do you find so many flawless diamonds to even come up with a piece to begin with? Well, in this size, flawless diamonds, F color, they're abandoned. I mean, you can cover cities and buses maybe with this, but it takes time to particularly find those with the perfect make because there's no two diamonds that are cut the same, period, because it's cut by human. And when you go through the process of finding those 1,200 diamonds that you do it, and you start the project with, it's probably about a whole month of two sorters to pick it up from the production as it comes in from the site. And then as we go into the process, it takes three months from start to finish where I have a cutter and the setter sitting right next to each other because he cut it and he tried to fit it and then it back and forth, back and forth, three months for completion. That's the reason why you have so many leftover diamonds that are probably damaged in the process. There you go. Well, thank you so very much for coming on out and educating us on this beautiful piece. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye-bye.